So the next kit we have is the Lilac Scabiosa kit. So this to me is the most summery plant. Um, it's one of my favourite cut flowers as well actually. I had this amongst other things in my wedding bouquet. Um, it's so delicate, the tone of it is just perfect. It's not got too much yellow in there so it's really soft. Um, even the sort of the buds are beautiful. Yeah, it's one of my favourites for summer um, scabiosa. So, um, in your kit, you will receive your plant, your 18 centimetre castle pot with this lovely scalloped edging around it, your gravel, your moss, your gravel, your compost, and your moss. Um, so yeah, let's begin putting up. So, adding in your gravel to the base of your pot, once it's sat on your saucer, so that it doesn't come out of the hole at the bottom. And then adding in a probably one or two handfuls of compost on top of your gravel. Okay, and then after a really good drink, you can remove your scabious up from its pot. It's <laughs> dripping everywhere. Okay. And then straight in. Now this fits perfectly. I will push it down and then I will probably, I'll just pop in a little bit of compost around the top. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because you will have it in your kit so you may as well get those nutrients from the compost. So push it down gently but firmly. That's opposite. Um, you can be firm but just make sure you're gentle with the plant. Um, okay and then add a little bit of moss around the edge. Now you won't need much moss in this kit because the beautiful leaves at the base of the plant will be the main feature around the base but just adding a little bit of the moss that's in your kit just to finish it off. Now this is an outdoor kit. I would love to try keeping this indoors. I haven't got round to it. Um, I don't know if it would grow indoors. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that there's just, it's, it's not even like, oh, it maybe. I just feel like it wouldn't, which is probably why I've not even tried. Um, maybe I'll give it a go. Um, so yeah, this is an outdoor kit. So in terms of looking after your scabiosa, um, you'll see when you get your plant that you'll have lots of little um, buds with, without the lilac um, petals on. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when your stems go over, when they start to go brown, all you need to do is get a pair of secateurs or scissors and just cut at the base where it meets the next sort of flower or bud that's coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. So cut that off and that will encourage um, the plant to put the hormones into the other flowers, the, uh, the other buds that uh, you know will then grow. Um, did that make sense? I don't know if I said that in a really roundabout way. Yes, yeah, so when the, when the uh, scabious goes over, <clears throat> excuse me, you cut it at the base of the stem where it meets the next stem and then that will then grow in its place. Um, it's quite a thirsty plant. I would be watering this in weather like we have today, so blue skies, um, no rain dew. I'd be watering every other day, every day if you can. Um, you know, if it's in your garden and you water your garden every evening, perfect, give it a water. Um, try not to water it in the daytime when it's bright sunshine. Um, it will burn, um, the, the water will evaporate off the leaves really quickly and it just doesn't do the plant any good. It's quite, um, it's quite a sensitive soil, I'd say scabiosa. Um, so yes, water, ideally sort of there, or, you know, get a bucket outside of water, stick your plant pot in it and let it soak it up from the base. Um, you know, that's even better. Um, but that's about it. It's a gorgeous plant. I really hope you enjoy this one. Um, definitely one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, that's the Lilac Scabiosa kit.